G'day. Today I've got the MSI Sword 15, and I'm just going to have a quick BIOS walkthrough, and as well I'm going to show you how to get there. So to begin with, we click on Start. We go Settings. We type in Recovery or Recovery to go to Recovery Options. Click on there, and we want to go to Advanced Setup or Startup. And we'll go Reset now. We'll give it a second to restart. And this will get us to a very easy spot to be able to select the UEFI. And from there, we can view what settings we have. So if we go troubleshoot, advanced, and UEFI firmware settings. Now, assume this will be the very basic settings where there are also um, advanced settings that can be accessed, which I'll try and cover that as well. But we'll begin with by going in here. As you can see, we have a mouse cursor. I believe it's also still running at 144 hertz, this display. We have storage info, which tells us we have a Kingston drive in there. And we have one more slot for another. And I'm not sure if we do have a 2.5 inch slot. How it's got serial ATA up here. As listed on the manufacturer's site, the MSI site, it does, doesn't state anything to do with a 2.5 inch drive system information, we can see the BIOS version, various other bits of information, not too much, Wi-Fi module, we have an AX201, which is actually not bad, under here we have various other little settings that I'm not going to bother to alter, you can allow BIOS downgrade, performance mode, balance mode, USB configuration. We go BIOS update. Granted, we need an image for that. Under boot, currently I set the fast boot. USB DVD, Windows Boot Manager. You can rearrange petitions if you need. So, overall, a very simple and standard BIOS with no real things you can tweak other than really your boot options. So, I'm going to go discard and change and quit out. And for us to be able to access the BIOS or the advanced BIOS, we need to hold down Shift, Control, then Alt and press F2. So you do have to use Shift and Control on the right hand side and ignore my crazy cat. And I'm going to hold down Alt and now I'm pressing F2. And as you see, we do have a bit of a change here. Now most of it it's probably going to be more advanced features you're not really going to tweak. It does mention iGPU, PCI Gen 4. Uh, which makes me curious if it's actually got PCI Gen 4 being that says 0.0. If we go to advanced, as you will see, we have now got considerably more options further down. All of which are beyond really any need for me to tweak. So I'm not going to tweak or change any of these particular settings as there is a pretty mad amount of them. So it's definitely not joking when it's referring to an advanced BIOS. Wish more laptops did contain this kind of things. Here we go, CPU flex ratio, overdrive. Sadly, I don't think there's anything to do with tweaking power more. Here we go, CPU power management. Boot performance turbo, max non-turbo performance, max battery. So that may be handy if you do want to keep the thermal de thermals down without undervolting. You go max non-turbo performance so it won't turbo up. Which I might look into that in down the line actually. As usually when it hits turbo, that's when it starts thermal throttling and then becoming fairly heat soaked. So I may try a bit of a comparison. Power management. Default max frequency. Graphics configuration, memory configuration, memory thermal configuration. Almost looks like you may be able to do custom memory tweaking, which again is something that I'm not really going to go into. SK Hynix, 3200 megahertz RAM, 
But as I mentioned, there is many options in here. Graphics. Don't change what your select your primary graphics to be, especially if you don't have a iGPU in your processor or in your laptop. Now this I do like to see. Internal graphics. So you can get allocated memory. Too bad that's only for the Intel graphics that are here. LCD control, V BIOS, V BIOS, panel scaling, brightness, backlight brightness. So that will do for now, as I don't think much more of this is really relevant. But you get the idea. You do have a fair bit to tweak if you do want to tweak it. Granted, might be like me where none of this is really relevant. Thermal configuration, CPU thermal configuration. Platform, critical trip point, 119 Celsius. That's pretty hot. Active trip point, 71, 55, 95. So that's where it's gonna want one of the turbo up to. So yeah, that will do for now, and I'll catch you guys later. Bye.